this to be simple. You have a point. I can flow along the vector field y for some time t. And this flow along the vector field x for some time s. OK? And I can do it the other way around. I can start doing it in s, obviously, start doing it in a, along x. Obviously, x here is a little bit different, so it might be in that direction. So phi s x. And uh, the same here. Y is a little bit different. So this is phi t y. Okay? You get two different points if the knee bracket is not zero between the two vectors. So actually, this difference is in the direction of the knee bracket. So the knee bracket is a measure of commutation between two flows. Uh, two vector fields, the flow of two vector fields commute, commute meaning it doesn't matter the order of flowing, flow along x first and then y, or y first and then x. So this diagram commutes, so coming to the same point, it means that the knee bracket, this is if and only if, the knee bracket is zero, okay? So uh, actually you can define, you can define here say uh, given x and y, vector fields and uh, point you can define this map to be uh, this <coughs> this difference so uh, it's uh, the map so phi s anyway it doesn't phi T y composed with phi s x minus the other way around. S x composed with phi t y. Okay. From P. And please go and expand epsi in Taylor series expansion in two directions, in two dimensions. So this is epsi 0, 0, P plus, you know, S partial Xi, partial S. Let's do it partial, because not to confuse you guys. And S is 0 and T is 0. Plus T partial Xi, partial T. S is 0, T is 0. And S squared over 2, partial squared Xi, partial S squared. Add the same thing. T squared over 2, partial squared Xi, partial the same thing plus uh, st, partial epsi, partial s, partial t. Plus how on the runs, order of s cube and t cube, right? Let's uh, compute one of these terms, for example, this guy. Partial epsi, partial s. Here is your epsi, please let's compute partial epsi, partial s, at s equals 0 and t equals 0. Let's do that. So I will uh, differentiate this with respect to s. Remember? This is what? I'll write it for you. Too. This is phi of t, comma, the point. The point is this guy, which is phi of s and the point b. This is along x, this is along y, right? Mm -hmm. So let's differentiate this guy with respect to s. So phi is a function of two variables, t and the point. The first has no s, the second has. So this is what you differentiate with respect to the second argument, with respect to the point, which is the Jacobian, right? So this is phi t y the Jacobian. This is our language for the Jacobian, right? Mm -hmm. Multiplied with the derivative of the second argument with respect to s. What is the derivative of the second argument with respect to s? Here you're differentiating the flow with respect to the first argument, which is the vector field. You need the velocity. So this is x at phi s x b. Minus the other way around. This is a bit easier because s comes first. So you have x of phi s x phi t phi b. 
And please go ahead and substitute s equals 0 and t equals 0, so it makes life easier very much. t equals 0, so flow by time 0 from point B, you get what? P, it's identity. The same here, so this is, gives you P. So this actually gives you x of P. And here the same, you get P, right? And this is the Jacobian of something, but at time 0 it will give you the identity matrix, right? So this is also x of P, so you'll get zero. And you can show that all derivatives vanish except this guy. Except this guy. And you will see that this guy will be the partial this guy would be exactly the lead bracket x m. So, in other words, this epsi of s t and p is s t in the direction of the lead bracket plus higher order terms. What is epsi? I'm reminding you what is epsi. It's this difference. So, this difference in the direction of the lead bracket. Okay? Professor. Yes. I think there's a typo. It's partial psi by partial s partial t, right? A little bit long. Yeah. The term that doesn't vanish. Except this term, yes. So what's the problem? Yeah. You should I write it for me? Yeah. No no. You're writing it as yeah. Ah yeah, t. Oh. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's have uh, one final thing. So this is a theorem which I will not prove. I mean, you can use these differentiation rules to prove it. It's nothing fancy. But I will apply to it, coming to Nabil's question at the beginning about flows. So given two vector fields, x and y, p define the curve gamma from some interval to m by gamma of t is what's that? so I'll start with b I'll flow with the square root time for some, you know if your time is 4 seconds I'll flow for 2 seconds along x then along y then along the negative of x then along the negative of y ok, so this is a curve that's ok so this is the given of the theory. Here is the then statement. If then, here is the then statement. The velocity of that curve at time zero is just the lead bracket. Okay? And this will give us in mechanics a way to move along the lead bracket. We'll talk about it later. Here is just pure differential geometry. I'd like to apply on that theory. Let's see how we apply it. Okay? Let's see how we apply it. So let's have an example. Any questions so far? What? The theory, do you understand what does it say? We'll see how we apply it, but what does it say? Any question about the statement of the theory? It says that if you want to get a, if you want to get a, this velocity vector moves for a little bit of time along x, then y, then negative x, then negative y. Then this composite curve this composite curve, the final result is along the lead bracket as a velocity. Let, let's see, let's, here is an example. I have x as 0, 1, 0 in R3. I have y as maybe 0, 1, 1. Okay, so this is on R3. Let's get the lead bracket, please. So this is. This is uh, partial y, partial coordinates times x, minus partial x, partial coordinates times y. x is constant, right? So uh, when you differentiate, you get 0. Here, when you differentiate, you get 0 first row, 0 second row, and here you get 0, 1, 0. Differentiate with respect to x, y, and z times 0, 1, 0. So the result is 0, 0, 1. This is the lead bracket. So let's do this composite curve. To do the composite curve, I need the flow. So let's get the flow. 
Let's get the flow, please. What is the flow along x? Phi t large x. My point x. What was that? So uh, you turn it into a differential equation, right? So x dot y dot z dot equals to 0, 1, 0, right? Please solve this guy to get x, y, and t. x, y, and z as a function of time. So the first one, x dot equal to 0, so this is any x naught. It will remain. The second, y naught plus t. The third is z naught, right? So the flow along x is what? From any point, say x. What's that? Is the x, y plus t, and z. Any question about that? Please, if you have a question, stop me. Let's get the y, the flow along the y. So we have x dot y dot z dot equals the y is 0, 1, y. So you have x, y, and z. Let's solve this differential equation again. The initial condition here remains because x dot is 0. Y dot is 1, so this is y dot plus t, right? z dot is y. z dot is y. So we're solving this in the following differential equation. z dot equals this guy. So let's solve this. So you get what? You get z dot the initial condition plus you integrate your velocity. So you get this guy. So we get y dot t plus t squared over 2, right? Any questions about that? So the flow along y from any point is your x, your y plus t, your z plus y t plus t squared over 2. Okay. Our composite curve has four compositions. The first point is phi t x from your from some initial condition. So this is this guy exactly x naught y naught plus t z naught. Phi square root t, right? What? The first point is square root t or oh thank you. The first point is square root t. So I'm moving for a time square root t. What's the second point? It's flow square root t along y for, from what point? From P1. P1. So this is, let's apply this carefully. So whatever here it takes, x, y, z, the first thing remains the same. So now I'm taking this guy, the first thing remains the same. So this is x naught. The flow here, it takes the second thing and add t to it. So I'll take the second thing and add t to it. But my time is square root t. So this is y naught y naught plus square root t. And I'm going to add plus square root t again. Right? The third here takes z and add whatever second multiplied by t plus t squared over 2. So let's take the third. Plus the second, the second one was actually y naught plus square root t. I will multiply it by another time, and I will add my time squared. My time is square root t, so this is t over two. T over two, and this is plus. Any question about that? So let's do it again. I mean, the more training we'll do it, the more we familiar we'll become. So point three is phi for this time along negative x p1 actually along negative x I can have the time is negative okay p2 so th let's say the flow along x is easy actually because the first and last in the black here the first and last are the same and the second is just added to time yeah why did you put the negative 
because it's equivalent. Flowing along the negative of the vector field, it's as if flowing along the positive of the vector field from negative time. It's they are equivalent. So uh, okay. So consider this point. The first will be the same, the third will be the same, and the second, I will add time to it. My time is negative square root t. So the first remains the same, the second, the third, and the third is of this guy, it's t over 2, and the second, I will add negative square root t, here it is, it was y naught plus, plus 2 square root t, and I will have negative square root t, okay? So, uh, finally, my final point, P4, which is flow along this guy y for some negative time from p3 is let's remember what is the flow along y here you have the first thing as is so let's have the first thing as is you have the second thing the second thing which is y added to the time the second here is the, the second which is y naught plus square root t i will add to it the time my time is negative square root t. The flow along y, if it takes the third, put it as is, so let's do that. The third here is all this guy, so z naught plus y naught square root t plus t, right, plus t over 2. And uh, add to it, the second multiplied by time, so I'm going to add to it the second, what was the second? It's y naught plus square root t multiplied by time. My time is negative square root t. So this is negative. And finally, plus times square root over 2. So this is plus t over 2. Any question about that? Any question? So it's just go and get these flow maps and treat them as input output, right? And just we're changing the inputs so we get different outputs. Now we're gonna cancel some stuff. So this guy, that guy, what else? We have here negative y naught square root t with positive. We have also this guy and that guy. This is t in negative minus that t. And do it in a different color if you like. So this guy with that guy. And uh, we end up with our curve that is function of time, which is just P4, is equal to 